Today, there is a vision and a huge effort across the state to link hundreds of local open spaces through parks and trails, natural resource areas, and important community features. The towns of West Bridgewater and Bridgewater embrace this vision with the goal of linking town-owned conservation areas to the nationally recognized Bay Circuit Trail and the historically important Nuckatesset River in order to satisfy diverse environmental, economical, educational, recreational, and social needs. Greenways are corridors of land and water that link together natural, cultural, and recreational resources. The Nuncatesset Greenway is a network of trail spurs connecting the 14-mile Town River and 200-mile Bay Circuit Trail to municipal and state conservation areas, historical sites, urban centers, school districts, Bridgewater State University, the Hockamock Swamp, and the wild and scenic Taunton River. Set aside for passive recreation by both towns, the Nuckatesset Greenway connects people to the natural world. Through encouraging and strengthening partnerships of key stakeholders, there is great potential to transform this beautiful greenway into an outdoor classroom to expand environmental educational uses, to increase recreational opportunities, and to create economic development in the region. Known today as the Town River, the Nuckatesset River originates in the Hockamock Swamp. As the largest remaining freshwater swamp in Massachusetts, the 16,950-acre wetland is a protected area of critical environmental concern, a huge 7.5 billion gallon water reservoir. It is a unique and irreplaceable wildlife habitat home to at least 13 rare and endangered species, a vast natural and scenic oasis of peace and quiet. For thousands of years, the Hockamock Swamp has remained close to an untouched wilderness, including peat bogs, white cedar stands, red maples, cattail marsh, small ponds, and meandering streams. In the 1600s, when the first European settlers came to the area, now known as Bridgewater, they found what the Poconoke tribe and other Native Americans had discovered long ago, an unblemished territory with abundant wildlife, virgin forests, and miles of inland waterways that wound their way to the sea. Native peoples had lived along the banks of these rivers for thousands of years, hunting, fishing and canoeing in unison with the ecosystem that supported them. The vast waterways that formed their habitat comprised a unique river complex now called the Taunton River Basin. Tributary rivers with ageless aboriginal names such as Namaskin, Satucket, and Winnetuxet flowed together and eventually joined the majestic Kutetiquat or Taunton River and provided passage to the tidal estuaries of Narragansett Bay. Not long after the colonists arrived, these rivers began to suffer. While water routes were the primary means of transportation, they also supplied the economy with power for mills and water for domestic use. They served as a waste disposal system for individual households, the towns, and budding industry. Vast land clearing for agriculture, construction, and development along the riverbanks, as well as increased population and industrial growth, interrupted the natural ecosystem. The great forests, marshes and wetlands, tangled riverbank growth, and pristine streams gave way to development and sewerage. Starting in the 1970s and 1980s, increase in environmental consciousness through the attention of the region to the deplorable state of the Taunton River and its tributary system. It took a complete community effort in 
including state and local officials, and many, many volunteers, decades to clean up the damage that occurred over hundreds of years. Remarkably enough, with the community's help, the river has mostly healed. Efforts surrounding the waterway are now shifting from river cleanup to finding a better way to utilize and program this natural resource for the benefit of the entire community. Currently, West Bridgewater and Bridgewater are in the process of developing a multi-use trail system to connect key areas including conservation lands, urban centers, historic sites, schools, and scenic vistas along the town river. Both communities have recently updated their open space and recreation plans to include a harmonizing vision along this greenway to preserve, restore, and use it for sustainable passive recreation. Hiking trails and canoe launch sites are being constructed. Historical sites and the fisheries are being restored. Large tracts of agricultural land are becoming permanently protected. And general public dialogue is exploring other sustainable, appropriate uses that will promote these special open spaces for the betterment of the two towns. The overall vision for the Nakatesset Greenway is to use the river as the link and life force to promote connections in our community. We want to work toward creating trail and greenway infrastructure that connects people and places in our neighborhoods, expanding environmental education initiatives that utilize the greenway as an outdoor classroom. Encouraging economic development in the region through new job opportunities and increasing commercial activity and tourism. Associating passive trail recreation with health, fitness, and well being. Fostering civic engagement by encouraging all residents to plan, fund, or volunteer on trails in our neighborhoods and beyond. Engaging and motivating youth by promoting stewardship through youth conservation and trail building cores. Promoting accessibility for all abilities and ages by creating safe and accessible trail systems. Building greenway and trail partnerships that recognize and support the greenway as a vital element of community infrastructure. To promote this vision, all of the Nucatesset Greenway stakeholders, including trail and parkland users, volunteer stewards, state and town officials, home builders and developers, educators, the business community, and others with mutual benefit must work in partnership. The stakeholders must come together to share personal visions and to understand what federal, state, and local rules and regulations apply to this land and water trail system, guiding what folks might build or protect in the future. Having an open and consistent dialogue between stakeholders will set the foundation for a true by-town partnership that will foster responsible use of our irreplaceable natural resources and encourage harmony going forward as the stakeholders seek to utilize and develop the multi-purpose Nucatesset Greenway. In this day and age, when Native American water trails are spanned by superhighways and riverbanks are lined with high-density housing, we must rethink our values and priorities concerning wetlands and watersheds and renew our appreciation for open space and clean water. With thoughtful and determined action, there is great potential to make the Nucatesset Greenway a wonderful resource and a positive feature of our community. Both Bridgewater and West Bridgewater desire to harmoniously develop the Nucatesset Greenway, creating sustainable activity for the good of the region.
Imagine a vast green belt of open space with abundant wildlife, forests, meadows, sparkling clean water, and infinite opportunities for businesses, educators, community members, and students to grow and succeed.